unable to comment on, but we will um, take your questions here today about the upcoming game against Purdue. So get started here with Coach Harbaugh. If you have a question, raise your hand. On the back left, Austin. Jim, there was a report last night that you had a contract offer rescinded. Um, can you say if that's accurate or not? Um, I wouldn't say that's accurate, no. Um, and the university has a policy. I think they made a statement right there. Yes. Of the policy on contracts and publicly talking about them. I think it was worded something like um, they don't comment about them until after they're done. On the left, Ryan. Jim, how do you think these allegations and investigations can possibly affect your legacy and uh, at Michigan and this approach? <clears throat> Team is uh, team's refreshed. I'm refreshed. Um, opportunity to um, spend time with the families after a pretty good week of practice uh, last week. Got some things done, and um, you know, we're just we're in an onward onward mode. So I mean, to answer your question specifically, um, to one track line um, that I'm. Uh, I'm modeling, and I and I see it throughout the uh, throughout the program. Left, Tony. Yeah, Joe, is it a head coach's responsibility to know everything that's going on in the program? Uh, I, I think that that question probably answers itself. I, mean, I, was, I was forthright with the with the statement right away, but you're for, you're asking. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. On the left, Aaron. Jim, there was a report last week there was an outside investigative firm that may have accessed some videos or files of you got your coaches. Do you know anything about that? And are you guys investigating how that came about? Yeah, I'm not going to get it. I, I'm a, I got a one track mind. I'm not going to be speculating um, and let others, others, uh, others speculate that on the various speculation that's out there. It would, be, uh, would be unfair to the team to uh, not just be coaching the team. Do you believe anything was illegally obtained? Just so you guys know, there's only certain things we can comment on, so we gotta, we gotta move forward. This is not gonna be very long. Andrew? Jim, uh, I've heard from a bunch of Michigan alums this past week who are not happy, in some cases, embarrassed seeing their school uh, receive negative headlines. What would you say to them about what, what they're reading and, and then seeing lately? Uh, this again, that's, I mean, that's, that's speculation. Um, I would say everybody's entitled to their opinion. And On the right, Bob? Jim, I know you've said you can't, but I wonder if there's something you would love to say if you could right now. Like, are you having to bite your tongue about stuff that's out there? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, in the in the situation, but it's, you just have to let it play out. You know, cooperate um, with the investigation, and um, then, then watch how it plays out. What do you think of night games? Night games, um, you know, we the team's prepared to play. Twelve o'clock kickoffs, three thirty, seven thirty, nine, whatever it is. Um, you know, it's a team that's. That understands and prepares, and they, and whatever the situation, it's not always going to be 72 and zero humidity either. You know, it's going to be could be cold, could be wet, could be uh, could be hot. Um, so they're they don't have to have everything set perfect. On the left, Isaiah. They're like field corn, Getting, uh, as opposed to being a house plant. <laughs> Uh, JJ McCarthy said last week. Nothing against house plants. They have their, <laughs> they have their function. They can be beautiful in the home. They can uh, bring great, great beauty and value to a home. But uh, but the field corn just drop a seed in the crack of a sidewalk and it'll burrow down and come up with any, any energy that it can find and then rise up in a stalk like fashion and just start producing. You know, I, I'd say that's what our our team's more like. 